What's up everybody? I'm Ben from the Powell String Team back again and I'm going to be showing you how to do the bottom lace, shooting string and shooter cord on our Powell pre-strung pockets. Alright, so now that we have the top string dialed up, sidewall ready to go, we're going to get through the bottom lace. So you're going to cut probably about 12 inches of uh, shooting lace here. You're going to tie a knot probably about two or three inches from the end. Give yourself a little bit of space there. Then to start, we're going to use this furthest left hole. We're going to go up through. Then these are the diamonds you're going to be using this line right here. So you're going to go out through the first one. Pull it right towards you. You're going to skip three. So one, two, three. Then you're going to go down and then pull this down and you're going to go up through that second hole. Leave probably about inch, an inch there of slack just because that'll help with your pocket. You're going to go down the third hole, back up through that same diamond that you were initially, you initially went through. Then you're going to skip three again. One, two, three. Down through the last one. Down through the furthest right hole. And then you can tie your knot. And that thing's all ready to go. And then if you want your pocket a little bit smaller after this, you're going to want to tighten this up. If you want your pocket a little bit bigger, you can loosen this up a little bit. All right, so now that you have your bottom lace done up, we're gonna move on to the shooting string and the shooter cords. So first we're gonna tackle the shooting string here. So you're gonna put it in the fifth hole down, which is also the same hole that your anchor knot uses. So you're gonna go through the outside here. You're gonna take both ends of it. I usually like to even it up. Then the line of diamonds that we're gonna be going on is this one. So an easy way to find it is it's in between the one that your anchor knot's hooked to and your Powell knot's hooked to, right in the middle there. Or if you count down from the top, it's five rows down. So first, to do the shooting string, you're gonna take the one that's on the back side of the head is always gonna go on the bottom. The one on the front side is always gonna go on the top. So right there you pull them and that's what it's gonna look like. So again, the one on, the back side of the head is always on the bottom. The one on the front side of the head is always on the top. So you're gonna pull that tight there and they're gonna look just like that. One more time, always on the bottom, always on the top. Pull those nice and tight and they're gonna look just like that. If they don't look just like that, you might wanna go back, rewatch that part a little bit and just try to get that dialed in because we're gonna be doing that all the way across. So now I'm gonna get through this. This one's always on the bottom. That one's always on the top. It's an easy way to remember it. And it comes out perfect every time. So I'll get through here. And then when you're doing your shooting cord, you're also gonna be doing the exact same thing. So once you get this method down, it's pretty easy. And it looks pretty neat and nice there. All right, so you're gonna get through the whole row of diamonds. And also when you're doing this, you wanna make sure you're going to the diamond right next to it every time. So after when you're done, if you're offline, you'll see that you're offline. So then you're gonna go through that same hole where the anchor knot goes into, through the inside to the outside. And then you're gonna tie these off right here. here I'll just do a simple. Just a simple knot like that does the job. And there you go, that's your shooting lace. So now we're gonna move on to the cord. For our Apollo pocket, we use two of these. Some people like to use one, we use two. So you're gonna put them both in. This is the hole right above the anchor knot. So four from the top. You're gonna skip one row of diamonds. So this row right here that goes along the top of the shooting string, you're gonna skip that. And you're going up to this nine diamond row. 
So you're gonna take the first chord. Again, I like to even them out before I do this. You're gonna go through the first diamond. This is the third from the top. Remember, so it's the same as this. So this string on the back side of the head is always on the bottom. The one on the front side, always on the top. And it's gonna come out where they cross, just like that every time. Bottom, top, bottom, top. Boom, boom. Just like that. And once you do it a bunch, you're gonna get a lot faster at it. It's gonna feel a lot more like second nature. Um, you're gonna go in through that same hole. So it's the fourth hole down over here. And then usually before I tie that one off, I do the second one. So when you're done with this, you wanna make sure everything looks good. Everything's nice and crossed. So here we go. Again, this one bottom, this one top. So you're gonna go here, go through this pretty quick. And then once you get through this part, you're gonna have these two ends over here. So you just wanna make sure you have the same string and you can just tie a nice simple knot here. A little square knot. Do that one again. Make sure those are nice and tight so they don't go anywhere. And then you can cut these probably leave like two or three inches. Same with this one, just in case you need to tighten it or loosen it. Um, if your stick's throwing a little bit down, you're gonna wanna loosen this one up a little bit. Um, if it's throwing a little high, you can tighten this and it can uh, just change how the, how the stick throws. So yeah, those are your shooting strings and your shooter cords and your stick's all dialed up and ready to go.